Good morning, Fellowship High Chris fam, and this is your jump start for Monday, March 8th. And our focal passage for today is found in the book of Luke, and, and it's in chapter 9, and it starts at verse 7 and goes through all the way through verse 20. And it's a it's a popular passage that a well-known story of the feeding of the five thousand. And so I want to hit it real quick, and then we'll we'll have a couple of points that'll help us as we go forward. Um, it says, when Herod Antipas, the ruler of Galilee, heard about everything Jesus was doing, he was puzzled. Some were saying that John the Baptist had been raised from the dead. Others thought Jesus was Elijah or one of the other prophets risen from the dead. I beheaded John. Herod said. Who is this man about whom I hear such stories? And he kept trying to see him. When Jesus, when the apostles returned, they told Jesus everything they had done. Then he slipped away quietly with them toward the town of Bethsaida. But the crowds found out where he was going and they followed him. He welcomed them and taught them about the kingdom of God and healed those who were sick. Late in the afternoon, the twelve disciples came to him and said, Send the crowds away to the nearby villages and farms so that they can find food and lodging for the night. There is nothing to eat here in this remote place. But Jesus said, You feed them. But we have only five loaves of bread and two fish, they answered. Or are you expecting us to go and buy enough food for this whole crowd? For there were about 5,000 men there. Jesus replied, tell them to sit down in groups of about 50 each. So the people all sat down. Jesus took the five loaves and two fish, looked up toward heaven and blessed them. Then breaking the loaves into pieces, he kept giving the bread and fish to the disciples so that they could distribute it to the people. They all ate as much as they wanted. And afterward, the disciples picked up 12 baskets of leftovers. One day, Jesus left the crowds to pray alone. Only his disciples were with him, and he asked them, Who do people say that I am? Well, they replied, Some say John the Baptist, some say Elijah, and others say you are one of the other ancient prophets risen from the dead. Then he asked them, But who do you say I am? Peter replied, You are the Messiah sent from God. There's a couple of things that this, this passage teaches us about um, using meals as missions. Uh, one of them is, as you do this, not everyone will understand what you're doing. So we have to understand that. Not everyone will understand what you're doing and, and believe in the motives in what you're doing it with. And that's, a, that's just a part of it. The second is, um, when you're using meals as missions, when you're living life as a, as a minister, someone who helps others connect with God, if you're doing everything yourself, then you're not actually doing ministry. Ministry is about equipping and enabling others to use their talents and gifts and passions to help others connect with God. So think about that as you're, whatever you're doing, if it's serving a meal, whether it's working in a garden, whatever it is, are you giving opportunities for others to grow? Second, or, or third, Make sure that you're not spending so much time doing that you don't have time to be. Take time to be. Jesus slipped away for prayer. And then lastly, as you use ministry opportunities to disciple others, the time to process what happened during the ministry activity after the ministry opportunity is over is so important. Make sure to take that time. Hey, that's our jumpstart for the week. Continue to power up, pour in, spill out. Have a great day.